that's Basics of Chakras. Believe it or not, we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of this incredible and complex topic. Chakras 2 will be a few weeks away, though. Understanding the chakras is understanding the cosmic universal flow. It is a scaling and harmonizing of vibration between polarized frequencies. Just looking at the waveform alone, the vibration of red and the vibration of blue are completely different. Chakras are the exact same way. Now, when a person is focused on one particular chakra, their whole world is colored by the energy of that chakra. It is literally like a lens through which everything in existence is interpreted. In order to explain this clearer, allow me to demonstrate what I'm talking about. You remember the qualities of each chakra, right? We covered that in part one. The brief overview is survival, sex, willpower, love, and emotion, sound, sacred geometry of creation, and finally, spiritual awareness and understanding. So when a fractal or a piece of the everything known as spirit, consciousness, or God comes into this brand new reality, such as a baby being born, they have one thing on their mind and one thing only. It's survival. They want to be able to survive and stay here. Their whole focus is on being able to survive. They are almost entirely dependent on their guardians at this time, and usually it is the mother and the father who take up that role. Depending on how well mommy and daddy do at making the infant feel safe, the quicker they can transcend to the next level. Nursing is a natural way to bring the child into a state of safety, as well as explore the next chakra simultaneously. The root chakra is synonymous with support from the environment around you. If a child is growing up in an unsafe space, or there's a lack of nurturing to keep the child feeling safe and explorative, it will take longer for solid transition to take place, and can even cause long-term damage to the understanding of the child, and they will grow up with many traumas, anxiety, and pain. The moment survival has been achieved, it becomes clear to spirit that there are one or two more chakras available. There are actually two, but spirit may only see one. It cannot see beyond a half-step wall leading to the heart. The half-step hides the higher chakras from spirit, at least until spirit has learned to master the lower chakras. That wisdom of completion shows the way into the higher understanding. Once survival has been achieved, spirit desires to make contact with other beings in this reality. This is instinctual. When you're a baby, that's usually interpreted as making contact with your mother and father. It is one of the youngest and earliest actions compelled by the sacral chakra and it is sexual in nature. As you get older and your sacral chakra matures, the desire for contact shifts from the innocence of support from your mother to a different form that I'm sure we're all aware of. The essence of the sacral is to reach out, locate, and make contact with the life that exists in the world around you. At a young age, it covers everything from holding your mother to snuggling a kitty, although it has been in a way programmed out of us by our own media and peer groups. Now that spirit has survived and made contact with other life in the world, the third chakra that is available is called the solar plexus, willpower. Spirit wants to know how things work. What are the laws of this new world? How does gravity work? How do you do things? Using your willpower, you try and control the physical world, picking up toys and playing with them, moving things around. We're all familiar with the age called the terrible twos. It's a common age when spirit is very interested and full of willpower to want to know everything about the world around it, to test it and see what it can do and what it can't do. The child will continue until it's satisfied in its basic understanding of reality. When you're a baby, you are unaware that there is a change in the directions after the third chakra. There's something we call a half-step obscuring the next four chakras. The child is not aware of the many more chakra lessons to come, and how much more to life there really is. The child is oblivious to it. On Earth, even when we become adults, we may still not know that there are higher centers in the body. Much of this world is still living in the first three chakras, but that is changing fast. Mother Earth is waking up. <laughs>